Good morning everybody, it's Vlogmas day four, we've just got up, Jennifer's waiting for her breakfast, it's just, uh, just warming some milk up to make nice porridge because she prefers it warm, don't you? Yeah. And I'm just going to get a look and see what's been put on <laughs> YouTube by people and have a look. I've got a cup of tea and I'll turn this around and I'll show you, I can't hold it with my left hand because it goes in the way of the camera. I've brought out the big guns today. I've brought out my Merry Christmas mug with Santa on the handle. It's the big guns. I need a big cup of tea. You can be in the video later. Uh, so yeah, Ooh, we'll be going out later. It looks like it's gonna be quite a nice day. It's very blue out, which is good news. So I'm going to do a peanuts breakfast and I'm gonna catch up on my YouTube. See you in a bit. So it's not very warm today, so we're all bundled up and we're just going out for a walk. So we're just going to walk through town, get some chips and go to Nan and Grandad's. I just got to check I got some money. I think I, I think I got a tenner on me. And uh, we're going to see if we can find some clothes for her in one of the charity shops. Because um, she needs 12 to 18 months. It's a long way off yet because she's not 12 months at the end of January, but I'm going to start looking now. She will get new stuff as well. She'll probably get some for Christmas. But I just want to make sure she's got some dungarees or something like that. So I'm going to have a look. So I'll see you down there. So I didn't actually vlog while I was in the shop looking for clothes for her. Because I forgot. I was so busy. But I did get her five little tops. Um, and a top for me. And it was... Uh, some of them are sleep suits. Some of them are t-shirts. All 12 to 18 months. Because... We haven't got much of that yet. And I know she's not eating like 12 months and a year until the end of January, but I just want to guess them. And it cost me the grand total of £1.70 for five things for her and one for me. So now we're just going to walk down to the chip shop. So I just popped into the library now, which is on the site of the old Risca Palace cinema. And we have this brilliant display of movie posters. There's Calamity Jane up there and Gone with the Wind. It's great. And there's Elvis down there with G.I. Blues. <clears throat> yeah, it's fantastic. There's loads more on the other side, but they're council a bit funny about you filming in their places. they got some movie magazines. They should have asked me because I had loads of picture goers at home. But what I like about this is not only that, but they have these great tables, and as you can see, there's one there. So we've got chaplains on it, but of course, my favourite, my favourite is this one. It's always got a little crack on it, but uh, I don't know if it's easy. So yeah, I've vlogged it before. It's just got a local event, and of course, it's Marilyn. So I had to pop in and uh, Look at the pictures. It's pretty cool. So I don't know how well you can see it, but that's the original facade of the Risky New Palace. Opened in 1913, closed in the, I think the late 60s, early 70s, something like that, or the 80s. Because people weren't going to the cinema and it lay derelict until they knocked down the back, cut the facade and built the library there. So we've still got the uh, benches from Remembrance Indy, the copies and the soldiers on them. Absolutely fantastic. Love it, it's a great library, great centre for people in Risca. Do love it. So, are you alright? There's my sweetheart. Nice shop next door, always good. And Lidl's. So, we're gonna go and see Grandad and get some chips, alright. So, Risca and Punta Mista, passing the dentist where I was here last Friday, have some great shops. Mm. Now, this one's in Punta Mista. And it's called Bandbox, and oh, they got a lovely tree, and it's obviously musical instruments. And it's great that a small place like that survives, or a place like that survives in a small town like Risca. So www.bandbox.wales, bandboxwales.co.uk if you want to check it out. It's really great. One of our lovely bus drivers being trained. Oops, fire evidence has gone past. So we'll carry on down the street. So we've got some lovely Christmas windows. This is Gypsy Jane tattoos. That's a great window. They got, uh, they got our elf. 
<laughs> and this one is Return to Chic. Exquisite pre-love furniture and gifts. Again, very condensated but lovely window displays. Howard's the Butchers. Again, very Christmassy. Accountants firm, not so Christmassy. We've got the pet shop, the howlers and growlers with their lovely mug display in that side. But over here they've got, they've been a good dog. Yeah. Fantastic, another great window for Riska. Well, Ponty Mister, because we're Ponty Mister heading out. This is Turtles Fish Bar. I'm vlogging. It's Vlogmas. We're into December. Daily vlog. Right. Right up to Christmas Day. Right. So this is Churchill's Fish Bar. Best fish bar in Brisker. Lovely. So come down for my usual. And of course then Bridie gets to play with the baby. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I had half a smile there. Oh, yeah. I did. Because I see you were smiling on Facebook. She's I did a lot big days, smile yeah. the other day. I did. Right. So I've got the chips. And we're heading off down the road now. So this place in front of you, the Bengal Crumry, which is a Indian restaurant buffet, apparently. Haven't tried it yet. This used to be a pub called the Risker House, and I used to work there with Bridie, who you just saw in the chip shop. Um, most of Saturdays, great. Um, yeah, haven't tried it, but I want to. We're just going to nip across the road and show you something else, and then it's off to Grandad's. So I wanted to show you this. So it's obviously one of the working men's clubs. This, this one on the top club, which is great. Vets on that side. Most of the shops are actually on that side of the road. Coffee shop, another takeaway. One thing Risk has got is a lot of takeaways. <laughs> we never go hungry, but uh, this garage normally has a yellow inflatable man outside, waving customers in as they come around to the bypass. Just turn around. There they go, Santa! That's pretty cool. We like that. CD Jennifer's going to have some ice cream with finished, Grandad now. They would have the modern interior thereafter with plenty of bedrooms and a study. The outside of the property needs some extensive landscaping work, but with the pot of money left over, they could afford to do it justice. Whether it's too large a project and too far from their family are the only questions. So all three houses, we've seen all three houses, now time to find somewhere to um, mull them over. Indeed. Yep. Come with us, do that. Nice. Get some more. We're finished. Well done. So you enjoyed the week? Very much. Yeah. It's, it's been a wonderful few days. More to the point, has it been useful? Because obviously you've got someone with you. Can Grandad have some? If we had a but sadly I don't think we've found our house. I think if you put the first house in the second house in the situation, that would have been great. But we are going to go back to Horton and have a look and look at the village area. So of all the contenders, it was the first house that took your fancy most? Yes, the specification of that house, all the rooms and um, the views from it, uh, we would want. We're not going to chuck it out yeah, this time. <laughs> against it really appeared to be the lack of being part of the community, uh, community village. So have things come into focus over the moment. Good girl. Is that nice? Well, she she's pushing it away so she can get some... And then take our time. You're in a hurry. Well, I'm sorry we didn't manage to pull the jackpot for you. But it's been lovely showing you around the lovely big budget. So, uh, I, hope I want to see what she does when you grab some. I'll tell you in a minute. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't so frustrating so cute. when we've got a million pound budget and we don't find the house buys the house that they want. But I guess if you've got a million pounds oh. to spend, then you really have a precise idea of what it is that you're looking for. Hopefully, though, John and Sue will rent and take a leisurely stroll around Dorset and finally find <laughs> that dream property. Good that time. But you don't have to wait that long. No, you could just turn on the you TV that, next don't, time don't and watch more <laughs> Escape to the Country. Yes. She gets all rigid where she's so frustrated. And if you would like to escape to the country in Northern Ireland, Scotland, Cute Wales, girl. and you need our help, why not apply online at bbc.co.uk mm. forward slash be on the show. Oops. Pick it up, sorry. The to make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. You only got one hand to pick up. Yeah. Christopher Biggie in this joint. I'm sorry. 
There it goes. The best part of it really is the movement. Man, Dad, so that's where the Go on then. Goes on the teaser. Oh, here. Well, here. This is the, the movement. Well, you're being very good today, mm. eh? Granddad has some ice cream. Is it because Mummy's filming you? It's not a box stand. It's better than. So I'm trying to clear up over there so I can make another camera video. It's not going very well at the moment because I got back from my mum and dad and we had to walk home in the ring because uh, it started raining and the car wouldn't start. And um, yeah, well, she fell asleep on the way home. So I, excuse me, had a, a shower and she was asleep. And then, of course, she woke up while I was halfway through the shower. So I had to get up and sort her out. And she gets a bit upset when I have a turban on my head. So to take that off and she still cried all the way through <coughs> my wet hair so that's it from oh, sorry from me today i will see you all tomorrow with day five uh, have a lovely evening say bye bye jennifer bye bye